What's up, Sheep Tits? My name is Gaming Baconator, and today I'm going to be returning to Resident Evil 2. Now, last time I completely played through uh, Leon's thing, like campaign. I can't remember. I think Leon's. I think for Leon's thing when you start out first time playing the game is Leon B. And anyway, I'm going to be moving on to Claire now because. If I want to do a, a playthrough of the new Resident Evil 2 remake, first I have to actually play through Resident Evil 2. Now, I'm not going to play through both scenarios for Leon and Claire. I'm just, I've played through Leon's first scenario. Now I'm playing through Claire's scenario. Then I'm going to get remake and, you know, I'll start a playthrough of it. See what's different. It'd be more interesting because... Stuff would be more fresh in my mind than having played it back when it came out. Because I didn't. Normal, because I'm not a pussy. I mean, I went with normal last time and it worked out. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb. Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bio weapon experiments. The Raccoon City police. You know, I don't know why I'm actually letting this play out because I already let it play out in the Leon campaign. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip through that. Yeah, I mean, if you want to see that, you can go back and watch the Leon thing. I mean, it's probably not going to be as HD as this, but, well, this is different. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello? <gasps> Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. There. Buckle up. Okay. What's going on? I arrived in town, and the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. You 
okay? Still in one piece. <gasps> hey, that maniac's gonna win! I'll meet you there. Okay. And so our journey as not Leon begins. I'm already disappointed. I mean, I'm... I don't mind Claire, but... Leon's my boy, man! He, he's my boy! I can't... I can't play a game without my boy Leon, which I mean he's like a supporting role, but still I can't play a game not playing as my boy Leon. I, I feel like I might go a little bit too crazy over Leon, which honestly, you know, when I say stuff like, ah, oh, he's my boy Leon, I'm, you know, I am joking. Uh, cause I just, I just think it's funny. It's, it's really all it is. Get this kendo scene. Free. Who are you? What are you doing here? Don't shoot! I'm a human. Ooh. Sorry about that, babe. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Fucking no, you're a whole bunch of help, and you're, e you're even less of a bunch of help to Claire than you are to Leon, because you don't even have a shotgun that I can loot from your body when you end up dying because you're standing too close to the window because who the fuck does that in a zombie infested town where, yeah where, where there are were zombies out there that I, I ran into and he's just standing there like hmm this this plate glass should be strong enough to hold them back oh god how could I have mistaken this it's not like the zombies are st strange. Alright. I'm getting out of dodge. Yeah. I don't even need that crossbow. Even though, I mean, as proven in the Code Veronica thing, the, b the bow gun or the crossbow or whatever you want to call it, I'm going to call it the crossbow, but it's actually decently effective. It's about pistol accuracy. I mean, pistol damage. Go and grab this ammo. Right. I forgot. There's no quick turn. That happened in Resident Evil 3. Not Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2 is still a Resident Evil baby. Wait, wait, wait. This guy's not dead. Yeah, I know how you zombies work. You just waiting for your opportunity. Shit, reload. Nah, take you fuckers out. No! How the fuck? Alright then. And they're both dead. Another one bites the fucking dust. I like this doom auto accuracy. Auto aim. I say Doom because I've been playing a lot of Doom. Mainly Brutal Doom because, honestly, I mean, I, I played Vanilla Doom just to see what it's like to play Vanilla Doom with no looking up and down and all that. Uh, and then I installed Brutal Doom and now I can't play uh, OG Doom anymore because it just seems so underpowered compared to Brutal Doom. That's just like, you know, 
weapon sounds that have a punch to them and all that stuff. It's pretty good. It's pretty cool. I never played. I, was, I never played Doom when I was a kid because I was playing stuff like this. I don't even remember. Uh, that makes me think. I'm trying to remember what the first first-person shooter was that I played, and I can't remember. I think it might have been Delta Force on the PlayStation One. I think that's what it was. I, I think that's the name of it. Is Delta Force? I uh, oh yeah no. You just stand back. And speaking of stand back, I'm a back up. Uh, yeah, I think it was uh, Delta Force. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And I barely played it at all. I barely, I didn't even go past the first level area thing because I was a kid. So yeah, I think that might have been the first first person shooter I played. Hmm. Of course it could have been... No! I'm out of ammo! Sometimes it's best to just run! You can't kill everything, you can't be a hero, you can't save everybody. Beautiful storytelling. I believe there's... Yeah, some pistol ammo. Yes. H-Gun. My favorite. My favorito. No. Okay. Oh, shit. Well, you know what? That's actually fine. That's actually fine. I don't give a shit. I don't know. I'm on caution now. Yep. I'm just gonna run past you because I don't really care. I, I, I could care less. I'm on caution. And I'm going to meet my boy Leon in the PlayStation. And go deal with a bunch of bullshit. Probably fight Mr. X. Okay. Maneuver around. Maneuver around. Oh, God! No, I didn't realize... I, I didn't notice him. I didn't realize he was there. That was my fault. What's my... Okay, I'm at caution. There's a zombie down here, I believe. No, there isn't. I thought that even without the Brad zombie uh, being unlocked, then, like, there would still be a zombie down here. I forgot the whole... I, I forgot some of the stuff from this. It's been a while since I played through this area. And I haven't played through it as Claire, so... Some stuff might be different. So, uh, get off my back, old man. Say whatever I want. I'm my own man. I got my own Snapple. made it through hell and my arm really hurts I think I, I think I think Claire might be having a stroke yeah isn't that isn't that a sign of a stroke when you're just like oh god why does my arm hurt could it be that I just fucking slapped it ha ah! ah no okay yeah grab his pistol ammo then go, go grab the stars key and no wait no it's a different game it's a completely different game it's a new game with this ink ribbon here even though it didn't look like an ink ribbon it was like two polygons but I mean close enough you can't show a lot of polygons on the PlayStation 1 you should know that yeah, there's my Leon's now I'm gonna no empty block Okay, well, memory card then. Oh, scenario set. Oh, uh, okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and save that. 
Yeah, so it's Claire A is what I'm playing through right now. And I'm not going to be doing Claire B or Leon A. Uh, I'm because I just want a base experience of like the experience of somebody who somebody that has just started up Resident Evil 2 and have no idea that there's two other scenarios. Oh no, Will Smith, no. Hang in there. It's rewind time. The only officer left in the building? Memes. Who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Chris, Jill Barry. Every last star's team member has disappeared. Get the fuck over here. We should have listened to them. Jill hasn't disappeared. She's actually in the fucking city as we speak. About two months. There's that JoJo locker again. That's it. Do the Nani editing again. That's it. I can't. You, you bitch. I'm gonna kill you. I just incriminated myself. Chris and the other stars. Oh well. Members. Shut up. Why you gotta be like this? Everything. I just want to love you. But no one believed them. Why do you push my love away? Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Take this. Give me more fucking kiss. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But. Mm -hmm. Just go. Oh. Okay. See what you made Marvin do. I'll be back soon. That's it. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You ungrateful bitch. Can't you see I'm making a YouTube video? You can't beat making me pick you up and put me in your lap. Huh? I'm sorry. I think I'm having a stroke. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well. Continue on. The damage is done. It's electronically locked. But I believe Marvin gave me the key card. I can't actually... Do like a run around thing, so I'm not even gonna do that joke. I believe he made he made me give the uh, insert insert the card sex into the anally. Yes, yes, it's good. I do it. Just take that card, and shove it up your ass. All right. Shotgun, it seems that there's a bit of a drawback in that it blasts, like it, it kicks like a motherfucker. 